Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today, we are headed to the barn. We were a bit early. Sophie just told me that she had a dream last night, and it was a terrible dream. She dreamed that another one of our horses died, and I literally cannot, ha and I was literally upstairs getting ready, thinking like I could not hack another horse dying ever. Like I, at least not less, not if it's unplanned. I was, and then she came and she's like, I dreamed that Willow died. She dreamed Willow died and she was in her stall and then Sophie was by her head. And I, I was, screaming Sophia did what and I was, yeah, and I was screaming and yeah, like I'm only gonna be screaming if it's sudden and unexpected and uh, man, I was, Hard to get past that. Like she could have totally been dreaming far in the future. But yeah, man, that's not how I wanted to start my if day. In the future, you still are screaming. I'm gonna. <laughs> Kevin's like, come on already. You got to stop with the screaming. I'm such a vocal woman, you guys. I'm trying to find my phone. Oh my gosh, I don't have my phone. Cause we be needing to listen to our story, our book. So we can get finished it. Are you guys joining along? We are reading. What are we reading? Sophie's still so depressed. Are you okay? It's weird how sometimes you have a dream and it feels so real that you can't shake it for the whole day. Anyway, I gotta go back in the house, get my phone. Abby, go back in the house and get my phone. I feel so super emotional today, and I think it's because when I woke up, somebody had sent me a link to a uh, Stella edit. And it was so amazing. Like, like, it was the song that they used was about you are my rescue story, and it was so much. It was so much about her living and not her dying. And it was so beautiful and so nice. I asked the girl if she would send it to me. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Oh my gosh! But now I'm like paranoid that Will is gonna die, and then I. I don't think I could survive it, you guys. Like, I do not think I could survive her dying. Do you? Yeah. Like, now, like, you guys don't know how much, how messed up I am about the whole Stella thing. Some of you guys asked about the necklaces that we made. This is it. it turned out really well. At least I feel like it turned out really well. This is the necklace that a friend sent me. And then I have this, whoops. And then I have this one underneath. And I love them together. I, I just... Somebody asked me, somebody asked me if is it waterproof and I had a shower with it last night and it is waterproof. All right, let's go see what Brandon has planned for us today. Did you give Stormy some hay? No. Oh, we got to give Stormy some hay. Let's start off with that. All right, you get ready and I'll give Stormy some hay. Thank you to, thank, whoa, whoa. <laughs> thank you so much to all the people who said that that cut on Finney is from his bit. No wonder he doesn't like that bit. Gabby's like, what? He has a cut? It's not really where the chain goes. Are you sure? I believe it. I believe them, Gabby. It's very low. The chain might go like just above it. It doesn't matter when it rides. Okay. He's like, listen, it hurts. Look at how cute that nose is though. Hey, Look how cute. I'm just touching right here. I'm not even touching it. You can suck it up. You can suck it up. That's what I said to Gabby. You can suck it up, Gabby. I better feed her some food, huh? See, I told you he kisses, just not when I want to. <laughs> yeah. Who we need to pull his mane? Tame it yeah. and pull it. Let's just cut it. No, just joking. <laughs> Fiona already killed us over Chino's mane. Chino's is thick enough that we can pull it. So, okay, this is a new horse. What's his name? Garth. Garth. And he's five. And he's adorable. He's so cute. And Storm loves him. Brandon's like, look at Storm loves this ginger. Do you guys remember when we got Sabrina? Storm and Sabrina were so close. Like he used to go to her and say, let's go. Our people are here. Let's go. You're with me. And then when we got Stella and he hated her on sight and that never really changed. But he likes this guy. This, he's a baby. He's only five, Stormy. Look, he wants to kiss you. Be kind. Be kind. Aww. Aww. Storm, you're getting so kind in your old age. But it's true, he does like a he does like a redhead. <laughs> you ready? It's like you're gonna attack me. Oh. You are
Watch, we watch the video back and there's Finn in the background spooking every time we go up. <laughs> what are we working on today, Gabby? I have no clue. Jumping, she wants to jump. But Brandon says you should not be jumping until you get the basis down. But we only have a few months till show season. So the girl that Gabby rides with on Wednesdays gave Sophie these little froggy uh, what are these called again? Polo wraps. Polo wraps. Aren't they adorable? I love them. All right, so. Oh, you are so cute. Pony number three. Just a sec. Gabby is on pony number three. We cannot leave until she rides big boy Chino. Tiny boy. She went small, medium to large. Yeah, and you know what? Storm is a superstar. Wait until you see all the things you're going to get to do on him. Yeah, I saw him jump in such good form. Everybody thinks that Storm has bad form. I got a little jealous. I started on doing Storm's final, and Finn started kicking the door. Did you give him food? Uh, he had food. You gave him a little bit of great hay in there? Yeah, he had hay in there. Are these all our halters? Yeah. So, you guys... <laughs> okay, so, um, we ended up wrapping the chain in vet wrap. So, some people said you can get a cover for it. Some people said... I don't know if she did a good enough job. Some people said... No, I couldn't do it all the way because we need to do it up. So oh, it. yeah. So anyway, that's what we did. It seemed to work. So we just covered the chain with vet racks so he wouldn't get a worse sore. Aww. I hope you guys saw Storm's lesson video last night. Er, yeah, it was amazing. You were an incredible horse, Stormy boy. I'm sorry if I ever doubted you. You are awesome. So many people have said, Storm was perfect. There's no need for her to get rid of him. He doesn't have the paces. And Brandon said, no matter what, he's not a trillium level horse, but he's amazing. Sophie, you're gonna be having the best year this year. When you're as confident as me, he's the best. He's the best. You're gonna learn to jump this. This is the year you're gonna learn to jump. You're gonna learn to really jump. Are finding cuts. No, that's a little tiny baby, baby, baby bump. That's not a baby bump. A baby bump is when you're pregnant, and he's not pregnant. There's a scab there. Uh, I think that's from a long time ago. I'm trying to chew. It's like, let me eat my. He looks like a camel. Did you get it off? All right, Mr. Happy. Are you Mr. Happy or Mr. Grouchy today? Hi. Hi. You're right, I'm frozen. I'm so cold, Chino. You're the last on the docket today. The only reason we are riding four days a week and it's only been for two weeks and it's because we're trying to build him up enough to be able to go on lessons. He needs to have a certain amount of stamina 
for lessons. You don't want to just grab him, throw him in an hour long lesson or 30 minute lesson and him not have like, imagine a slave driver came along and said, you will run for 30 minutes and you've just been sitting in the couch. Yeah, it would be painful. It'd be too much, too fast. And we want to, we want to, we want to keep him for a while, right? You know, we want you to be in good shape. Right? I think he's already ascertained that we are the treat family. I love that heart-shaped nose. Oh! <laughs> Did you see it? What? He licked me. He licked my face. He kissed me like a puppy. He like actually kisses, like licks you, like a puppy. Oh. Be nice. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you said he does. Oh, I'm not kissing him anymore. You're like a barracuda. I just wanna. Gentle till someone else comes and bites. Be gentle, but then he bites. Yeah, Finn. Finn bites like happy Animal. bites. Yeah, like he's just like, I'm just going to try this out and see if it bites back. If it doesn't, then I'm going to take a bite of it. Oh. Yeah, it's sad that we have this many. Is this ours? Yes. I can tell because it's clean. Storms. It storms? Yeah. It's the one I use on storm. It's size 54, but it fits like a size. Okay, go. 50, go. 56. Go. He's just downstairs. Yeah, it sounds big fat. And this is ours. And this is ours. Hey, Cinderella. Come here. Come on. Look at, there's some booty growing. I see it. Cinderella, I need you to get all of our tack and no get it problem. away. Boop. Ow. Excuse me, sir. I, can you bridal wrap those and hang up all the bridles? Bridal well, hang them all up nice and neat, please. I love your brought your halter. It is gorgeous. Where are your fuzzy things? Are they at home? Huh? Are your fuzzy things at home? Thanks for not buying We all have a job. Little Miss Cinderella down there putting everything away. See, he's so much better in this. You guys, I don't know if I showed you in yesterday's video. I can't even remember what I cut out and what I left in. But he was terrible in the cross ties down there because there was no structure. When he's between two walls, he's better. He looks like he's gonna be spooky. Are you listening to the music? Brandon told me a long time ago that radios actually cause ulcers in horses and it's because they can't tell if somebody's coming or if somebody's not coming. It just sounds like predators all around all the time and they can't pinpoint it, right? So we stopped using our radio in our barn. Right, handsome? I've been thinking about it and I think that Sophie's dream was super reflective of the fact that the last couple of days she's been feeling left out or like, I don't know, like, you know, we were talking the other day about how she knows Gabby's building her horse up for her and she's okay with it, but I think she's still sad and we we're talking about Stella and I just think all of it came to play a part in her dream and I feel like maybe her dream meant like in her dream, she was holding Willow's head when Willow died and I was standing in the same position when Stella died and Gabby was in charge of Stella and I feel like maybe her dream was kind of like, like her subconscious was telling her that nothing will ever replace the bond that she has with Willow. Like the re she has a relationship with Willow, like already, like, like the relationship she envies that Gabby has with maybe her horse or whatever. I don't know. I think that's what it meant. I don't think that Willow's going to die anytime soon. At least I hope not, but it was just so, I don't know. You guys know what I'm trying to say? I see you standing there, let's do the atmosphere, smell of your after.
Everybody close your eyes. Pretend this didn't how it happened and do not let Fiona see this because she will kill us. It's been so long since you got to jump them. I asked Gabby who's our best jumper. She said she thinks it's him. Long. Why wasn't your butt safe? And you weren't ready? I wasn't ready because I was expecting him to take that extra step. <laughs> Alright, that's enough jumping. More, that was okay, one more. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Long. <laughs> I tried it. And then hurry up and stop because I'm gonna get in trouble. He's nodding his head yes, Is that good? Yeah, he's done. Just has to canter the other way. And that is what we come home for, you guys. That is the most exciting part of our day. Oh, those cute babies sunbathing, waiting for lunch. Aren't they, don't they look beautiful? It's like they post themselves. Right